first and foremost, I want to say Brakate Hoa, Brakate O'Shea, Brakate Hoa, Brakate O'Shea, Brakate Hoa, Brakate O'Shea. Yahweh Basham Yahweh Basham Akakadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders that great millstone who rule well, who teach us this truth through the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahweh. And peace and salutation to the Akiyam Zemaudi who pushing the gospel in sincerity and truth. This is Brother Cora from Trinidad Camp coming to you with another lesson to feed the lek at the house of Israel, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. You all are the Hebrew Israelites. You all are Yahweh chosen people. Right? You are not Africans, right? You are Hebrew Israelites. Right? You are the sons <coughs> of Jacob. Right? The sons of Yahweh Basham Yahushai. Right? You know, this lesson I want to do, you know, is com concerning you know, right, uh, to humble yourself. Right? Humble yourself before Yahweh Basham Yahushai. You know? Because you, you will be rewarded. Right, <coughs> and I want to say something concerned with my little son. Right, he did ask me to buy um, a PlayStation 4 for him, you know. But I didn't have the money, you know, at that time, you know, to, to get for him, right. And you know, by when he asked me, I said, Daddy, you know, you want a PS4, PlayStation 4. I say, Well. How things tight right now, you know that he can't buy it right now, right? But one day, don't worry yourself, you will get it, right? In due time, right? Now, he was a little dumb, you know, but he never disobeyed me, right? Although I tell him, you know, in due time, he didn't get it right away, right? He kept his feet towards me, right? By listening to me. Right, if I said him to do something, he will go. He wouldn't show no bad face or anything. He would do what he had to do. Right, he would do his little chores. Right, he would do whatever he had to do. Right, and that, and that one day came, and his face light up. Right, he was in joy, you know. He, to see it go, he wasn't expecting it. He wasn't looking out fate. Right, he didn't know when it would have come, but when it come. If you see the joy in his face, right? And that is how hey, we're gonna happen hey, by serving your basham your shy. We're gonna get an increase in due time. And our joy is gonna be such. Right? So we gotta humble ourselves, therefore. Right? We gotta humble ourselves and be patient. Because the Mosai is a rewarder. And he's not slack of his promise. Or the works we do fame right so just like my little son you know, hey, he come and tell daddy come and tell father for things right where he need it hey so we had a beat of was your basham your shy that is our daddy we gotta go to he right because hey it is be it is be a, a good thing to know hey your father proud of you to know yeah by days hey we tell you our shy he say this is my son, in whom I am well pleased. Right? So a father does be proud of a son. When he see a son going that right path. Right? Not bringing shame to him. And so we gotta be towards your. So we gotta be towards the most high. Gotta make him proud. Right? See, the first scripture I wanna bring out is first Peter 5 son of 6. Right, he say, humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of power, that he may exalt you in due time. Right, he will exalt you in due time. Right, that no way the labor of we works what we doing, we will be rewarded. We will be rewarded. <coughs> right, he say, cast casted all your cares upon him, for he cared for you. Right, so we gotta cast. All our, our care upon the most of everything. Whether we in a low state, we gotta endure and cry unto our father. Go to he. Hey daddy. Hey, we, we need this. And the Lord know what we want before we even ask it. Right? So in due time the Lord will. He will 
reward you. You will get it in due time. Right? When you least sometime yeah, you will get at when hey when you know it, it just come in a time that hey you really need it and it just it just come right and die and die and that is it you know it most I he, he will reward you in due time when you when you when you really need it when he when he think you know it is the right time to give you it you know right you get it you know so we gotta humble ourselves you know and be patient right constantly endure endure long suffering right there is um the first Corinthians 15 verse 58 right he said therefore my beloved brethren be he steady fast un un unmovable always abounding in the works of the Lord for as much as he know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord right so we gotta be steady fast we gotta be a continue in this continue praying fasting continue doing the works you know continue paying up your videos you know continue doing these things these things please enter your basham your shy right and we will be rewarded you know most i don't give me too much that you know we we ain't be able to bear right most size of balance right you know, so if you're feeling down in the in, in the spirit, hey, call upon your basham your shy. Right? The name of the Lord is a, a strong tower. The righteous run into it and is safe. Right? That is our father. That is our that is our daddy. You gotta go to he. Right? He first Corinthians three verse eight. Right, he said, No, he that planted and he that watered it are one, and every man shall receive his own reward according to his own labor. For we are laborers together with power, he are God's husbandry, he are God's building, he are power building. Right, so we gotta continue doing this work, you know, every man going and be re rewarded according to his own labor. Right. Cause hey, you was shy. He reward, he reward is with him. Come to reward every man, right? So we gotta hey, continue in this. You know, we gotta labor hey, together, right? Cause all our we you know, we doing the works. I your basham, you shy, right? There's um, there's Ecclesiastes twenty four verse twenty four. You see, faint not. To be strong in the Lord, that He may confirm you, cleave unto Him, for the Lord Almighty is God alone, and besides Him there is no other Savior. Right? There is no other Savior. As Scripture said, there is no name under heaven given amongst men whereby we will be saved. Right? But true, Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh, Shai, that is the name of power. That is the name we have salvation in it. Right? The Hebrews 11 verse 6. He say, but, but without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to power must believe that he is. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. <coughs> right? He said, verse 7, he said, By faith Noah being warned of power, of, of things not as not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an act to the saving of his house, by the which he, he, he condemned the world, and became here of the righteous, which is by faith, right? So Noah, 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 Noah kept the faith. Now what do we gotta do? Right? You know, hey, the most I hey, tell him something. You know, hey, no I kept it. Nobody went and, you know, he preach. You know, to 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 wake them up. To turn around from their wickedness. 
and guess what he get I increase he will save right both side destroy the US and he save the house right just by diligently seeking him and doing the works right both sides are reward he will save right and that is how we gotta be right that is how we gotta be you know for the lord to save us to show us mercy for we to come out of this dark hole you know you know they this wicked kingdom we gotta continue we gotta be in that spirit and Noah. right continue doing the works all right the hebrews 6 verse 10 he said for paul is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love which he have shown towards his name right towards his name you know so like are you i see you know you need to do read these scriptures talking about israel united in christ right there's a name gonna save we your how about show me your shy there's a name right as you try the scripture in and in, in second Ezra 2 only 40 something verse right he said these be the men that you know stand stiffly for the name of the lord right so we gotta show a you know a labor of love which we have shown towards his name and that he have ministered to his saints and do minister right and we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end so we gotta continue hey preaching your basham your shy until the end but Nate you're not doing that you're not doing that you're sold out right scripture and second as judge the lord say he knew it all of them that sin against him therefore he delivered them unto death and destruction right so you do want to repent and turn around right because you're knowing the right thing you was taught the right thing but you're so loud for what for vanity right so we gotta hey we gotta continue so when you're about from your shy continue hey, declaring that name right the daniel 7 verse 18 he said but the saints of the most high shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever even forever and ever right the saints gonna do that right the elect men who fear or basham shall will turn back right the wisdom of solomon 5 verse 15 he said but the righteous live forevermore their reward also is with the lord and the care of them his reward it's like yeah, the care of them is with the most high he said therefore shall they receive a glorious kingdom and a beautiful crown from the lord's hand for with his right hand shall he cover them and with his arm shall he protect them right so he's gonna get a beautiful crown from the lord right right so let me just this scripture right that uh, you how shy you know gonna crown them um, um right they second i just 2 verse 42 he say i ezra saw upon mount zion a great people whom i could not number and they all praised the lord with songs and in the midst of them there was a young man of high stature taller than all the rest and upon every one of their heads he set crowns right he set crowns right on every one of their heads he set crowns right so we're gonna receive the that glorious kingdom a beautiful crown from the lord right a beautiful crown right the second address 2 verse 35 he said be ready to the reward of the kingdom 
for the everlasting light shall shine upon you forevermore right so days where we preparing for days where we want and to receive this crown you gotta pay the works you know you can't be lazy you know you can't be wishy-washy you know we are the end of this we gotta keep the faith we gotta constantly ensure be it right we gotta be it right because betterness coming right betterness and we're gonna come out of this shit hole right and we gotta keep the faith we gotta endure until death until the end right you know and with that I hope it was very fine, you know. I want to give all praises and glory unto Yahweh, Basham Yahushai, Basham Akakadash, and double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who well, who teach us truth through the spirit of Yahweh, Basham Yahushai. And peace and salutation to the Akiyams, and we will push any gospel in sincerity and truth. You know, I just want to say, Shalom, you know, keep fighting the good fight of faith. You know, we soon out of this bitch. You know, so until then, Shalom.